I enjoy learning about and fixing computers during my free time. And I am always on the lookout for an interesting fixer-upper project which is not too expensive to carry out. In my search, I stumbled upon a listing that held the promise of an interesting project at a reasonable price. So I reached out to the seller and scheduled a pickup. Upon my arrival, I discovered that the seller was liquidating assets and had a total of three similar iMacs which were considered unusable, and each was for sale at the same price. So I took the risk and purchased all three fixer upper iMacs with the hopes of finding out if I could get them fixed and back to working condition. Let's see if I made the right choice. I connect a keyboard and mouse to the first iMac and I power it on. It powers on but boots up to this page with the prohibitory symbol which means that the iMac cannot find a valid system folder to boot from. This error can be resolved with a fresh installation of macOS. This would require a macOS installation USB. If you are interested in how to create a macOS installation USB, check in the video description. I pick up my OpenCore Legacy Patcher installation USB for macOS Big Saw and I proceed to plug it to the iMac and boot it up while holding down on the option key. I select the EFI boot option and I select macOS Big Saw option. I select a language and select Dix Utility and click Continue. I click View and select Show All Devices. I select the main hard drive and I click Erase. I rename the drive and leave the format as APFS and the scheme as GUID Partition Map. and I click Erase. The drive is erased successfully and I click Done. I exit Dix Utility and click Install macOS Big Saw and Continue. I click Continue and I click Agree. I select the main hard drive and I click Continue. The installation begins and runs for about 54 minutes before landing on this page. I proceed to set up the iMac with the basic settings and boot to the home screen. Thankfully, all functions seem to be working very fine on this iMac 21.5 inch late 2015 and it appears to have had no underlying issues aside from the boot-up failure. So I proceed to update it to macOS Sequoia using OpenCore Legacy Patcher and I move on to the next device. I connect the keyboard and mouse to the iMac and I power it on. It boots up to this screen that requests for a password that I do not know. I reboot the device and hold down on the command and R keys as it powers on. I hold down on both keys until the Apple logo appears and the progress bar begins to load. The iMac boots into macOS recovery. I select utilities in the menu on the top right corner and I select terminal. In the terminal window, I enter this command, reset password, and I hit the return key. The reset password page comes up and I select a new password and I verify it. I click next. I get this message that lets me know that the password has been reset successfully and I click Exit. I proceed to restart the system. And I enter the new password.
This is an iMac 21.5 inch Mi 2014 running Mac OS Big Saw and it is functioning perfectly well with no issues. It also appears to have been used with a remote login. So there are no files on it that require a backup before performing a reset. I plan to factory reset this device to run Mac OS Big Saw which is the latest Mac OS update from Apple that this device supports, hence making this device ready for a new user. Two iMac issues have been resolved and both devices are now up and functioning fine. So I proceed to take a look at the third device. I connect the keyboard and mouse to the iMac and I power it on. It boots up to this screen that requests for a password that I do not know. The reset password steps are identical as the steps that I carried out on the previous iMac device. So I carry out each of the steps on this iMac. This iMac is an iMac 21.5 inch late 2015 and it is running Mac OS Monterey. It is functioning perfectly well with no issues. It also appears to have been used with a remote login so it has no files on it that require a backup. I intend to factory reset this device to run Mac OS Monterey which is the latest Mac OS update from Apple that this device supports hence making it a suitable device for a new user. It was a worthwhile risk purchasing all three devices since all three devices had resolvable software issues. All three iMacs are up and running and in their current condition each has a market value of no less than three times the amount I spent in purchasing them. In case you are wondering about the first iMac which I updated to Mac OS Sequoia using OpenCore Legacy Patcher, the update to Mac OS Sequoia was successful and was completed with no issues. However, Mac OS Sequoia does not seem to function very well on this iMac 21.5 inch late 2015. I found it to be slow and a bit laggy at performing basic tasks. So I intend to downgrade the operating system to Mac OS Monterey, which is the latest operating system that Apple supports on this iMac, hence making it a suitable device for a new user. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you have any questions or comments, you could leave them below in the comment section. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day. Bye for now.